Hey, another edition of Experience Sessions right here on IndigoMusic.com. I'm Rohit and joining me right now is yet another independent artist. Molly, welcome to, you know, IndigoMusic.com. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's beautiful to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Molly, before we talk about your brand new track, let's talk about how you got into music. When did it all begin for you? I think uh, I was... Uh, Na about nine years old uh, when I start playing the tabla, right? And uh, that's actually how it all began. And then I heard, um, you know, at nine itself, I heard the Dark Side of the Moon, oh. uh, the record by Pink Floyd. Yeah. At when I was nine, while uh, I think a lot of people at my age wouldn't even get to the record, but somehow I'm <laughs> I have no absolute idea how. I managed to get a hand on the record, but I did. And uh, yeah, I started playing the tabla and then on I started playing the drums and then eventually everything started from there. That's how it actually began. And and hand, how many uh, instruments can you play, Molly? Um, I think I can play the drums, the tabla, the guitar, synths, bass, saxophone, karma chang, tita, um, I can play a couple of other things as well. Fantastic. Fan that's really great. I mean, you ne literally named all the instruments that I've ever heard of. So I'm pretty sure you can play each and every one of them. Now, uh, you know, you are also uh, someone who I think likes to do some impromptu things. Uh, something that's happened with you and your brand new single, which is Abstraction in the Abyss. Now, talk to us about this song and how did it all come together? And uh, where did this all happen? So basically, uh, with abstraction, actually, as the name suggests, abstraction in the abyss, right? Yeah. Uh, it's 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 finding ambiguity in the abyss, basically. Right. Like we're all actually in the abyss at all points in time, right? Like if you think about life, everything is ambiguous. Nothing is concrete. We have created a structure right. as, as human right. beings to comprehend things. So, so, so. What 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 came through to me was so basically impromptu life is like an eight eight session uh, you know um, this piece that is going to come together okay so it's like going to be eight uh, in eight like um, sessions to the entire thing to impromptu live at different locations different studios country wide right. okay and abstraction was the first one. And uh, we, in fact, have the next one also coming called Bittersweet Blasphemy with a very uh, beautiful Sarot player called uh, Rohan Prasanna from the Prasanna Karana. And he'll be playing the Sarot on that track. But leaving apart all of that, uh, abstraction came to me because, see, I was, I, I, I keep writing music, touch wood. Uh, I keep writing music and music keeps coming through, coming to me, okay. And, uh, with that, um, as any singer, songwriter, or producer, musician makes music, there's a structure to it. Even right. though my music is very unconventional, even my even usual my usual music is very unconventional because I, the kind of music I make is a very niche. It's for a, so. Uh, but then what came to me was I was feeling a little constricted with it. I was feeling a little constricted with it. I was feeling like okay, I need to, I need to get 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 out there. I need to be like all over it you know get to my maximal uh, strata like pull it pull, push it to the maximum okay and without knowing anything you can only push yourself when you do not have a structure right. when you have a structure you are binded you are limited yeah. with a structure so I wanted to push it to the core so I just um, walked into the studio uh, Ferris wheel studios in Gurgaon walked into the studio I had no absolute idea Start playing the keys. Uh, got on the key. Got on the piano and uh, spent like 15 minutes writing the piece and recorded in one take. And then moved on recording the drums, the bass, the synths, the vocals, <laughs> what else, the sax on the track. And uh, that's how abstraction came to be. Yeah, uh, Molly, great talking to you. Great track, by the way, and waiting for your next track as well. We'll catch up uh, as soon as that happens. We'll be playing this track on air. So all the best uh, with your future releases and your future endeavors. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you to you and Indigo Music. You guys are like pretty, pretty awesome to do this for us indie musicians. Thank you for having me again. Well, it's, it's our pleasure, Molly. Thank you so much once again for connecting.